Hello and welcome to today's video, basic bringing in some other important concepts for the beginner programmer. Um, I'm using IntelliJ because everybody seems to be using it and it's an industry standard, but also too to prove that most of the IDEs are similar and it's easy to get used to one and then transfer to another. So this is something that you should become accustomed to and something that you should try every so often. Okay, so um, looking at this here, I've got a simple enough program here, but you will notice, okay, um, public class first, that there is no main method in it. No, just as a small aside, okay, I did increase the font by going into Files, Settings, and increasing the font size in the editor here, okay. But if you wanted to increase the font size, you go in here to True Settings, just in case if you're very very visually impaired or whatever and you can obviously change the size of the settings and obviously we can do that but we're not really worried about that and i might make a video to that effect later to show that um that thing okay but looking at this here okay the two main in key important things here are obviously build and run and you will notice that there is no run option at the moment simply because this class here has got no main method in the moment now if you're using several IDEs, they will put in a main method automatically. But it is important, and I wanted to just show you a few things, specifically the importance of certain bra brackets within programming. There's three main brackets within uh, Java programming. This bracket, okay, you can call it the curly bracket, you've got the round bracket, and you've got the square bracket, okay? Now I'll be going through and I'll be going through these examples in the next few minutes to kind of show that, especially with the use of variables. Okay, so just going through one thing. Um, as, a, as a beginner programmer, you might always ask yourself, why, why is there a public static void main? Okay, and realistically, okay, that goes back to the fact that this was a command line driven program or programming environment very initially okay and when it was that we used to used to have to use what was known as the command line i.e the dos if you wanted to ever run it you can just say cmd and there is your command prompt we would have had to use that okay but to cut a long story short which i'm um which i need to do here is this is a function and it is the default function for every program it is a bit like the key in an engine okay the relationship between a key and an engine the key will be plugged in and turned that is the starting point of an engine now obviously you can reboot it another way but it is usually the starting point and there is a method within the jvm called main and that is the one that is being looked for but it is important that obviously if you're beginning programming to start your to start your programming within the context of the main method now i won't exactly explain what it does but the key important thing in relation to the video is as follows is you can see these brackets there's two sets of them okay and there's one set of round brackets and there's one set of square brackets. So what is the difference between all three and why are they there? The brackets are there simply to show where something starts and where something ends, obviously enough. But there's three types because this one is a block of code. The round brackets are function parameters and the square brackets relate to, relate to an array so if you always think right that wherever you see a curly shaped bracket that means that that is the starting point and an end point of a block of code now when I mean block of code it could be a function or method as we call it in Java it could be an if statement it could be a for loop or whatever it's a specific section of code that's the first set of brackets. 
the second one that we see here round brackets and it's actually very very important that actually this this thing here showed up that this actually states what the method or the function parameters are so in this case okay just jumping a tiny bit of a head is that this method called main i.e the main method will expect an array of strings to be fed in as its parameter that's in here so what the round brackets are are basically what are the parameters of this method okay and then the square brackets now it's just coincidental that we use square brackets here because we do fit uh, we can fit in more than one argument but the more important point is this is that wherever you see square brackets they are in a relation that this um, this variable is an array okay now you mightn't have come across arrays yet but just a bit of a preview if I stored my age okay as a variable that would be one variable value and that's okay that can be stored separately but if I was to store let's just say a whole class load of students ages or their names or whatever rather than storing student one age or student one name well, let's just say student one name student two name student three name and all the way down and let's just say you got 30 students student 30 dot name all the separate variables i could store them all in one array now i'll do a, um, a video on arrays and i already have one done but i will do a second one later but the more important point not deviating from the point is the brackets okay so go on, recapping the first one is a block of code you should always always have a closing bracket with an opening bracket and this is typically one of the common mistakes that people make so you can see that the class or the program bracket is being closed down here now a good practice for the moment is just to put in a comment and you might think, oh, that's too much, too, too much like work. Well, tough luck. It's called work. If you don't take your program seriously, I would be quite honest with you. Don't take it at all. Okay. So until you get used to kind of seeing where things are, and you can see here roughly too, it uses indentation. This bracket here relates to this bracket down here. Okay, so even if you typed in end of main. Now, you don't need to keep on doing this, you know what I mean, for eternity. Just as you get used to things. All right. Now, okay, if I build this one, okay, and it run, okay, if I build it again, okay, we can see there. And now, okay, we can run it now at this stage. Now, what I need to do is obviously put in a few variables and so forth like that. But if we only took from now that the main important point is the brackets and so forth like that, that that's important that an open bracket must be closed with an, another bracket now the other important thing is is this and it is an important point to point out that if you're using the ide in other words if you're using either intellij netbeans or eclipse or whatever nine times out of ten they will put in the brackets where they think the bracket should go be careful of that be very careful of that because it's only a best approximate guess and sometimes not even sometimes 90 percent of the times you will have to move the brackets okay and therefore to make logic out of your program so you don't always rely on that i will show an example of that just very quickly now okay so let's just say for argument's sake Let's just say if I declare an integer variable called x and I give it a value of 5. Okay. Now, we will be doing the if statement and so forth like that. But let's just say if, if I said if. Okay. Now, the if is actually a function. So, the next thing, or function or med. So, the next thing I will expect is to round brackets. In other words, the parameters that we're going to feed into this function. Okay. So, let's just say if x is greater than let's just say one okay okay now if you put in 
curly bracket. What basically you are saying is that I'm now putting in a block of code. So if I put in the curly bracket there, and let's just say, okay, S O U T tab, and let's just say X is greater, okay. If I do that, okay, and let's just say if I do another one in the if, okay. So what we should see here, and what I will be doing in later videos, is not Molly Cadoddle people, and I will be putting in examples. We're doing a tiny bit of the if statement here, but also to, to show the importance of the brackets. An if is basically saying, if this test is true, do whatever is inside the brackets, or do the next statement. Okay, and I'll come back to that now in a few seconds to show this. But if I did this here, okay, if x is greater than 1, okay, condition x is greater than 1 is always true. So if I, if I run that, okay, I should be able to see these two lines of, of, um, of code. Okay, x is greater, greater in the if, and I'll just change that actually. I'm just being pedantic here, in the if. So, okay, typically what you should always do is build a project, okay, and then go to run and run it, okay, and obviously I click on first, and you can see here x is greater in the if. So, it did actually run it, um, and we did find out that, look, yes, it's true, but if I got rid of these, okay, that means that these, this if, governs whatever's in this state in these two brackets but let's just say right if i got rid of both of those okay right and i didn't get rid of them but i just placed them okay and what was it going to say i just placed them up here okay right okay or if I changed about the if, actually, sorry there now, if I changed about the if, okay, if x is less than 1, okay, so this is negating. In other words, this test now should be false, so we shouldn't see these, okay. So if I go to build, you don't necessarily need to build it, but if I click on run, okay, there we go, we don't see it now, we don't see it. But what would happen now if I get rid of the two brackets? Actually, I'm getting rid of one, uh, getting rid of the two brackets there, okay? And you might say, okay, will it, will it even build? It will build, okay? It will build, okay? And but if I run it, okay, I shouldn't. This test here is still false, okay? But if I run it. Okay, in the if. Okay, now you might say to yourself, what happened there? Okay, because I don't have the brackets anymore, the only thing that would be governed by the if is this, is the first statement after the if thing itself. So the brackets are key to saying, what do you want to control with this, in this case, an if. It could be a loop, it could be a method or whatever. But my main point is this, is the brackets themselves, you are responsible for putting in them in the correct place, okay? So just a quick overview. Number one, brackets should nearly always be in pairs, okay? So let's put it this way, that, what was it? Um, okay brackets should always be in pairs okay so you've got there okay so this bracket there first starts up here it ends down here all right you've got your other brackets then starts here starts up here sorry ends down here now you don't need to put comments in everywhere but this one here is the if okay then your round brackets are method parameters or function parameters okay so there where you're talking about functions there and then your square brackets are arrays 
okay this video is going on a tiny bit longer so what i'm actually going to do now is stop this and put in a second video just to go through the notion of variables afterwards okay thank you for your time and if there's any questions or anything to that effect please let me know